everyone my name is Vera Kings and if you're new to my channel please subscribe below if you are in this video thank you so much for watching this video okay so let's just double into today's topic today's topic is how to get the group back in your marriage like I said in well my previous post I'm married with two kids and basically <laughs> when I was pregnant with my son I went through a lot of things I was well, I would say a bit depressed. After I had him, I was still a bit depressed. I won't, this is a private conversation, but I thought, okay, why not just share it? After I had him, during my pregnancy, my, I didn't even let my husband touch me at all, yeah? Because I wasn't even feeling myself, so of feeling him, you know? And even after we had our son, we... I kept him away for months actually and I feel so horrible for that but that's life it happens so I decided okay a lot of people might be going through this and they don't know how to solve this problem so I thought okay why not just do a video and let's discuss basically so first things first is you try to love yourself again it's not easy being well living in the western world especially i was especially someone like me because i was used to have a lot of helps around when i was still living in nigeria meaning my mom my my cousin my niece well my help my nanny at a point in lagos i didn't even used to go to the kitchen at all she only just tells me ah, uh, mommy killer there's no more food in the house or this and i give my money to go and buy or i tell my mom to, to buy for me it was that bad or like in london i had to do everything myself back the two kids take care of them feed them everything so it it is overwhelming i'm not gonna lie it is overwhelming so you know even at a particular time you will get tired and you'll be like i want out i'm tired i don't know what to do and everything and basically you have to find a level first you have to understand that okay this is how it is going to be you have to accept that first and then you start to love yourself again after you start to love yourself again that's the number one step love yourself again then you start to love your partner again okay. is to plan a surprise night for him just get someone to look after the kids take him out on a dinner on a lunch well dinner would be appropriate just find somewhere where the kids are going to be and plan him a surprise dinner surprise date or something he won't he's not even going to expect it at all you know you can take him to a restaurant you can take him to there are a lot of fun places you can go to um, for example, for my Lagos viewers, you can go to, I used to love Terraculture so much. You can go to Terraculture, you can go to so many places, you can go to Seep, you can, any restaurant, any bar, just go. Leave the kids at home, you two go and enjoy yourself. That's the, num that's the number two. So um, you will spend time alone with your partner. You know, if you've got your parents living in the same city as you, or you've got your sister living in the same city as you, you've got your, you know, you've got your support system or your friend who is willing to have your kids for the night or something, take them to your friend, your sister, your family, anyone, or could be the minders also. Spend time alone with your partner in your own, you know. Maybe after that dinner you had in what's it called? Where you come home alone without the kids, you know, have sex everywhere. Have sex in the kitchen, have sex in the bathroom, in the bathtub, you know, do things you used to do before these kids came and took over your existence, you know. Do those things. Number four would be for you to go on a vacation, drop those children, the kids, nothing is gonna to happen to them. I know for me, vacation. Um, even if it's a weekend or maybe three nights or something, there's so many short holidays you can go for, you know, just go, relax, think less of the kids, call them once a day, make sure they are fine and that's it, you know, get your groove back, go to the islands, go somewhere without the kids, just focus your attention or your mind everything on your partner that i'm gonna try my best to make this work so and don't, that's what i did and thank god we're in a better place now but you know it was very difficult especially with the children always 
in our space always in our space i tell you it's not easy being a mom of two and no sort of help around and so my mom my mom is visiting right now and she's been so wonderful i'm not gonna lie we had an hour anniversary um november 16th it was so nice took him out it wasn't eat well he kept on saying oh babe we're not gonna plan anything blah blah blah, blah. i said okay fine so took him out it was really really lovely it was a wonderful night so try to do that invest in a good gift for your spouse maybe it's been that watch has been eyeing for so long you never can tell you know um for example my husband loves shoes and he loves um what's it called he loves shoes and he loves watches okay so after you support him with a gift yeah trust me <laughs> this last one always does the magic play together and make sure you have loads and loads of sex make sure if you don't want to have any more kids because <laughs> obviously you don't want stories that touch oh we have three kids already we don't want more kids but you know this baby has entered oh i put you bought this baby don't you because <laughs> i remember when i was pregnant with... this is so funny guys i remember when i was pregnant with my son it happened and we weren't even expecting it it was valentine's day 2016 and this is me. I was like, ah, they go and use money after I'll pay. You know what evil spirit or the spirit of God or the spirit of God said to me, don't use it. Nothing will happen. You can't get pregnant. You can't get pregnant. I just I was because I breastfed my daughter for a very long time. So in my mind I was like, I should still have immunity now. I should still have immunity. So <laughs> that's how it happened. Oh, that's how my son happened. So it was. It, that's why he's a November baby. His date of birth is twelfth <laughs> November, twenty sixteen. So technically, he was conceived on the fourteenth of February, twenty sixteen. So you know, have loads of sex. Make sure you guys are in a better place and remember do things away from the kids i hope you like this video if you like the video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel and share 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 thank you very much for watching my video my name is rara kings i'm on instagram at rara kings i also blog at www.rarakings.com thank you for watching bye